Today, I'm playing the Bloons first person shooter fan game. However, all of my towers are going to attack 100 times faster. This is going to be absolutely crazy, and I really hope you guys do enjoy the video. Last time, I was really scared to play this game mode in Poppable because we have to go all the way to around 100, but now. This is going to be pretty easy. I mean, look at this dart monkey. It's already firing at faster than the super monkey. And guys, not only that, if I press a key on my keyboard, I can skip the rounds with this mod. That is actually crazy good because it won't take like an hour. Now I can literally get this farm and I can start making a ton of money. Just look at this. I can't wait to get more upgrades on this thing. So let's buy the banana plantation. Let's skip a couple more rounds and I want to save up for the super bananas. Also, doesn't this just look so satisfying? We have all of these bananas to collect already and that that is a lot of money right there. Perfect. Okay, so we can afford the super bananas. Let's get that. Let's see. We got blue bananas. We're going to go all the way up to around 75. Oh my, we're going to make so much money from this. Just look at my money go up right there. So we're going to get the first hypersonic tower and we're going to, of course, go with the sniper. Now, I'm not going to get all of the amazing upgrades yet. I'm just going to go for the third tier large caliber. I want to see, can this actually take down some of these later rounds? Because remember, they're going to be ZOMGs. There are going to be BFBs. They're going to be really hard to kill balloons. Oh, I just got hit by a BFB. But it looks like we can literally insta kill it. Remember, this is only the large caliber, and I can do this much damage to Mark Cosmos. That is actually insane. Just look at them all disintegrating. Now, we don't have infinite lives, so I do need to be somewhat careful, but like our defense is unmatched. Nothing in the original game was quite as good as this. And this is just a regular sniper. I can't wait to see all of the really good upgrades. I have a feeling this is going to be way too good, but I'm going to go all the way for the cripple mob upgrade. Let's see how good this thing actually is when it's hypersonic. Wait, is this the whole round? I can literally destroy this in seconds. Just look at that. They're just gone already. Oh, but that was actually the whole round. Okay, we got some mobs right here. We got BFBs as well. Look, look at this one second, less than one second even. They're just gone. If I just slowly move the sniper like this, it will obliterate every single balloon in its path. This is this is way better than I thought it would be. And guys, the sniper still isn't one of the best upgrades in towers. I can't wait to show you guys like the fifth tier boomerang and stuff. We already saw how good the cripple mob sniper is. But what if we went for even even more attack speed. Is even more attack speed going to affect how good this actually is? Well, let's see. And it looks like, well, it's firing faster than it normally does. But remember, this tower normally fires really, really fast. So I don't think it's actually going to make much of a difference because it really, it does not do that much damage. So I feel like this thing is not going to be that good. Yeah, even with an attack speed buff, this thing doesn't really seem that good because as you can see, it just turns everything into even more yellow balloons and stuff, which is definitely not what you want. What, okay, what about the BFB? What about the BFB? Okay, it took like two seconds to take the BFB down. Definitely a faster attack speed than normal, but it's still definitely not as good as the Cripple Mob. That's not to say it isn't good though. It is still good. It just isn't quite as good. Guys, I just had a really good idea. What about the monkey fan club? Is this going to turn all of those monkeys hypersonic as well? I'm so curious. Okay, let's see. Are the oh my god, look at that. No, that is ridiculous. Okay, all of the monkeys are hypersonic as well. I literally, I don't have to do anything. And yes, I have a hypersonic triple dart monkey. But these monkeys each shoot really hypersonic darts. You can see them going all across the map. That is so good. Okay, these BFBs are getting pretty close. And honestly, the triple darts, it's not as good as the sniper. It really isn't. It does not do enough damage. But these monkeys are definitely helpful. As you can see, they're, they're shooting a lot of darts at everything. Obviously, we can still take out the rounds really easily, but it's definitely not as good as the sniper. Okay, well, the Super Monkey Fan Club just increases the attack speed. So let's go straight for the Plasma Monkey Fan Club. Hypersonic. Does this actually make a difference in how much damage it does? Let's see. And okay, we got, oh my god, we got the CMG. Okay, I'm not going to even attack it. I'm just going to let these Plasma Monkeys attack it. And the answer is no. I mean, it's good. It's taking out these in... Actually, no, that's pretty good. It took out the ZMG in like three seconds. Dude, okay, can I just stand here and be safe? Is that... Can we actually just stand here and be... So oh, no, we can't. We can't. Okay, they're not that good. It is time to go for my favorite path on the boomerang. We're going to go for all of the plasma upgrades. Now, we literally only have this one tiny boomerang versus round 82 with tons of BFBs, four to five BFBs. How are we going to do? Well... The Boomerang is one of the best hypersonic towers. This is only like a third tier. We haven't got the three extra upgrades, which eat, which increase the damage even more. And already, it seems like we're doing a lot of damage. Just, it's definitely not as good as it could be. But considering the price of this thing is literally $1,500 in this game, this is a lot of damage for how much it costs. Look at these Boomerangs. They're not really boomerangs anymore, but they are absolutely massive. I can't wait to see how, like, do they, do they destroy mobs instantly? 
Oh, yes, they do. They destroy most easily. This isn't the Dark Lord, remember? This is not the highest upgrade. And it is shredding the Stromix like they're absolutely nothing, even the mobs as well. Maybe the Cripple Mob was slightly, slightly better, but this just seems so powerful. Well, that boomerang was good, but it isn't the best. So let's just go for the best. $72,000 for the Dark Lord. And already, look at that. That just looks so good with the red glow and stuff. Okay, let's start the next round. We got some mobs instantly gone just completely wait did you see that there was a bfb spawning and it just died completely instantly okay i'm gonna click my mouse twice against this bfb let's see one two oh, two clicks is all it takes to destroy a bfb that is absolutely insane this thing is even stronger than the cripple mob sniper it, it just is this thing is just the best upgrade yet okay we got some zomgs multiple zomgs okay i'm just gonna hold it down let's see how long it takes Already ceramics! Already ceramics! That is insane! How is it this good? Okay, we got another ZMG. It's getting really close to me right here. It doesn't matter. We can just shred it down. Why does it go straight to ceramics? I don't even get that. I'm really looking forward to this one. I'm gonna go straight for the Grandmaster Ninja. And then next, I can go for like the Flash Bomb and stuff. So let's see how good the Hypersonic Grandmaster Ninja is. And the oh, wait, look at the shadows. Look at the shadows. You can see how many Sharkens is actually shooting from the shadows. And yeah, it definitely isn't quite as good as the Boomerang because it doesn't do as much damage per shot. But because it shoots five different projectiles hypersonically, well, this thing is definitely extreme. Whoa, that was close. That was really close. Let's see how many seconds. Yeah, it definitely takes longer. But that's not to say it's bad. It is really, really good and probably one of the best upgrades we've seen yet. Two ZMGs at once literally doesn't matter. Eight BFBs. It really doesn't matter. This thing will shred absolutely everything. I wish the game was this easy when I played in Pop the first time. Okay, so let's go back for the ninja. Let's get the flash bomb. Uh, actually, let's get... No, let's get the just the flash bomb. I'll get the sticky bomb next. Let's see how this does against round 88. Remember, we're really high on these rounds now. These are really high rounds. There are going to be tons of UMGs and stuff. Oh my, look at that. Look at the explosions. I feel like this thing is going to be really powerful. Okay, against the CMG. How are we going to do against the CMG? And the answer is no. It isn't that good. It is not that good, guys. Oh my, it's actually kind of struggling. Wow, I did not expect this. Okay, so the Flash Bomb clearly struggles against the Mild Class Balloons. I think against the Balloons themselves, the regular Balloons, it, it's going to be really good. But against the Mild Class Balloons, it isn't so great. I mean, it's still doing a good job. I won't lose any lives, I, I say as I lose a life. Also, the explosions just look really cool, hypersonic. Okay, it is time. Let's just go straight for the Master Bomber. So, this just shoots out, like, extra bombs that, like, attach themselves to Mild Class Balloons. Um, so, let's see. Oh, wait, wait, we still got Balloons on this round. Okay, let's just take care of those there we go so let's see how good wait 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 are we just insta killing them wait are we just completely i think we're insta killing them you can see the bomb appear on my screen periodically i think we can insta kill any mob class balloon now so this went from being terrible against mob class balloons to being literally the ultimate killer of them wait this is wait this is way too good okay we got ddts on this round i believe so let's see if we can actually take care of them really quickly because ddts in this game are very scary because they are one of the like they're the fastest balloon in the game apart from pink balloons so against the balloons we're fine let's see against the ddts yeah we can we can just insta kill them we can just insta kill them guys this is too broken yeah we could definitely solo with this until round 100 i can't wait to see how the bad balloon like how long it lasts against all of these hypersonic upgrades it's probably not even gonna last five seconds even though it's like the strongest balloon in the entire game i'm not sure if this upgrade is gonna be any good but i'm gonna go straight for the balloon hunter seventy two thousand dollars it's one of the most expensive upgrades it already fired really fast so I don't see this making much of a difference, honestly. I don't think it's going to make much of a difference, but let's see how it does. And the answer is against the ZOMG, no, it does take more than like, I think it takes two seconds, like one, two, there we go. So it's good, but I don't think it's as good as the sniper because this thing already attacked ridiculously fast. So for $72,000, Honestly, it's probably... Actually, wait. No, this is much better against, like, the balloons in general. And also the mob class balloons, like, the regular mobs. I'm pretty sure this thing is better. Yeah, I'm actually not sure how good this thing really is. Like, it seems to pretty much insta-kill everything apart from the ZOMGs. The ZOMGs take a couple of seconds. Everything else takes a fraction of a second. This is probably one of the most powerful upgrades we've seen yet. I don't I don't think it's the best, though, but it's, it's probably in the top five so far. Guys, I just thought of something. We haven't gone for the monkey ace. Okay, so if we just go for the lots more dust one, we're not going to go for the spectre just yet. Is the actual ace, which is flying around in the sky, is this thing going to shoot hypersonic darts? Well, let okay, it does. 
That is so awesome. Look at this. Okay, so we basically don't have to do anything. This ace, just look at it right there. It is absolutely shredding everything with the hypersonic darts. And we have not even got the spectre yet. Like, okay, my dart monkey is terrible, but we don't even need my dart monkey because this ace, which isn't even the spectre, is just going to take care of everything by itself. Okay, to be fair though, this thing is kind of slow at popping stuff uh, because it, it keeps on missing the balloons and stuff and targeting the wrong ones. But it's still really, really awesome to see me not having to do anything and this ace just destroying everything. Oh, I can't believe it. This ace, which isn't even the spectre, actually dealt with round 94, one of the hardest balloon rounds in balloons fps well you all knew what was coming we just have to go for the spectre right here Thirty-six thousand dollars. honestly it's kind of cheap for what it does so are the explosion yes the bombs the bomb is a hypersonic and i i can't even see the balloons i literally okay we got a fortified mob we got a bunch of ddts and now we don't as soon as i said that this thing targeted them and it insta killed them I, is this the most powerful? Is this actually the most powerful? Like, the, the round is already over. Like, not only does it shoot the hypersonic darts, but it also shoots the bombs. And Okay, there are a lot of balloons right here. My game is actually lagging with probably how many explosions it is causing and how many balloons it's popping at once. Hopefully, I don't get kill, killed by these people. Oh, that's so close. It definitely takes longer than, let's say, the sniper or something, but it's still very, very good considering I just have to stand here and do nothing. I have to do it, guys. I have to go for the Dartling Gun. I want to go straight for the really slow firing one. We're going to go all the way for the bad gun. Let's see how... Oh, look at this. It shoots so fast. Okay, let's start the next round. We got a bunch of fortified CMGs and... Okay, no. No, this is not doing much damage. Look at this. This... Okay, by itself, the Spectre is doing most of the work. The Spectre is definitely doing the majority of the work there. These rounds are literally... I can't even sell it as well. This Spectre is just destroying everything instantly. So we test out the Robo Monkey in the last hypersonic video, but we did not have access to the Tech Terror, and now we do. With the new update, brought this absolute beast of a tower. Obviously, the Spectre is going to kill most- Okay, no. You can see right there, we did not pop the fortified BFBs very quickly. You can see right here, no! The Tech Terror, no! Why is the hypersonic Tech Terror so bad? Trust me, guys, the Spectre is doing the majority of the work there. No, that is so sad. The Tech Terror was absolutely amazing in the regular game, but I suppose it already shoots so fast making it hypersonic honestly it does not make much of a difference which is kind of sad but that's kind of what i expected but no yeah the tech terror kind of sucks guys so the plasma accelerator really really sucked when we used it in the regular game so can we yeah we can pretty much insta kill mobs with this this thing is really good ddt no look at the fortified ddts okay again this thing is good but like i i swear this spectre is doing so much more of the work than every other tower and like the rounds are ending so quickly we're already on round up hundred now okay well i'm just gonna stand right by my tree okay no i'm gonna stand right by the shipwreck i'm not gonna do anything i'm gonna see can the spectre take care of the bad balloon without me doing a single thing i'm just gonna stand here am i gonna die and the answer is well actually the ddts could get close that was probably the balloon's final chance no no the spectre it just destroyed it in seconds not a single balloon is gonna come anywhere near me okay guys i wanted to do one final test before the video ends i want to see how good the best upgrade in my opinion the cripple mob hypersonic cripple mob is against the bad balloon okay so we got the bad balloon right here okay so let's focus our fire three two one okay let's go how good is this thing okay it's actually taking quite a long time wow the bad balloon actually lasted more than a second i am genuinely surprised everything else of course gets obliterated instantly but i'm genuinely surprised anyway i hope you guys enjoyed the video and all of the hypersonic towers and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video peace